Have you ever wondered what the end of the universe might look like? To ponder this, we must first journey back to the very beginning. Picture a singularity, an infinitely small and dense point. This was the universe at its birth, a moment we refer to as the Big Bang. In an instance, this singularity began to expand rapidly, a cosmic inflation creating space, time, and matter. As the universe cooled, matter coalesced, forming galaxies, stars, and planets. The evidence for this theory? It's scattered across the cosmos. The cosmic microwave background radiation, a faint echo of the Big Bang, permeates the universe. We also observe galaxies moving away from each other, a clear sign of ongoing expansion. So, from an infinitesimal singularity, we arrive at the expansive cosmos we inhabit today, a universe that has been evolving for over 13 billion years. From a singularity to an expansive cosmos, the universe has evolved over billions of years, but what could possibly be its ultimate destiny? The universe as we know it is not static. It has a life of its own. Stars, those dazzling celestial bodies, are born from clouds of dust and gas, eventually becoming a vital part of galaxies. Over time, these stars undergo a process known as nuclear fusion. This process generates heat and light, but also creates heavier elements like carbon and oxygen, elements that are fundamental to life as we know it. Yet, this is not a never-ending process. Stars, like everything else, have a lifespan. When they exhaust their nuclear fuel, they meet dramatic ends in the form of novas or supernovas, creating spectacular cosmic displays. Some even collapse under their own gravity, birthing black holes, these enigmatic entities that capture our imaginations. The death of stars and galaxies illustrates that nothing in the universe is permanent. So, could the universe itself meet a similar fate? The fate of the universe is a topic of intense debate and speculation among scientists. Today, we're going to delve into the three main theories about the end of the universe. The Big Crunch, the Big Freeze, and the Big Rip. Let's start with the Big Crunch. This theory suggests that the universe, which is currently expanding, will eventually slow down and start to contract. Like a rubber band that's been stretched too far, it will snap back, causing everything to collapse in on itself. This could lead to another Big Bang, restarting the cosmic cycle anew. However, this theory is contingent upon the idea that the universe has enough mass to reverse its expansion, a notion that is becoming increasingly disputed. Next up, we have the Big Freeze, also known as the Heat Death Scenario. This theory posits that the universe will continue to expand indefinitely, eventually reaching a state of maximum entropy. Stars will burn out, galaxies will drift apart, and all matter will decay, leaving behind a cold, dark universe. This is currently considered the most likely scenario based on our understanding of the universe's expansion. Finally, there's the Big Rip. This theory depends on a type of dark energy called phantom energy. If phantom energy exists and increases over time, it could overpower gravity, causing the universe to expand at an ever-accelerating rate. Eventually, this expansion would become so intense that galaxies, stars, planets, and even atoms would be torn apart. Each of these theories paints a different picture of the universe's end. Yet, they all underline one fact. The universe, as we know it, might not last forever. So while the end may be billions of years away, Understanding these theories gives us a glimpse into the potential future and reminds us of the fleeting beauty of our cosmic home. Among these theories, one stands out as the most probable. The Big Freeze theory paints a picture of a universe that ends not with a bang, but with a whimper. This scenario is based on evidence that the universe continues to expand at a constant rate. Over unimaginable timescales, this expansion will cause galaxies to drift apart. As they do, the stars within them will exhaust their nuclear fuel. Without this energy source, the stars will burn out, leaving behind dark remnants. These remnants will eventually decay and disappear, leaving a universe that is dark and cold. This is a slow, almost imperceptible process that could take trillions of years. The universe, once ablaze with the light of countless stars, will slowly fade into darkness, its vast expanses becoming cold and desolate. The end of the universe might be a long, slow fade into darkness. But remember, this is just one of many theories. The universe has always surprised us, and it might do so again in its end.